Hey everybody, it's me Rodney from Rustique Relics and this is Missy. And today we're going to be doing something a little different. Usually we do uh, Let's Paint Thursdays, but today we're doing a product test. We'll be testing this stuff called wood burning gel. Quick and easy in five simple steps. It's made by Samarillo, so we're going to test it out. So you're supposed to be able to use a heat gun and burn whatever into your uh, wood surface. And we're using a cutting board for ours. And Missy is currently weeding out all the stuff from the little stencil that we had made. And uh, as soon as she's done with that, we're gonna get started. All right, okay. guys. So we have got our stencil on here finally. The transfer tape was a little more adhesive than we would have liked. Kinda so struggled with it a it little bit. A, uh, it was a bear, but we got it. We got it. You live and learn. So that's it. It just says, Rusty Relics Home Decor and General Store. So we're using this on our display. We have like Amish uh, can jellies and syrups and stuff like that. And I kind of am just trying to decorate that area up. So I thought it would be really cool to have one of these um, hanging up on the shelving with our logo on it. So that was the whole purpose of this thing right here. Plus, we've been wanting to try out this product. Yeah. Because I'm always liking new stuff. Yeah. And if it works the way it's supposed to, that'll be awesome. So it doesn't take much. You just gel it on there. <clears throat> and then you're going to squeegee when you're done. Get any excess off. Just apply it. It's really simple. Brush it on. And it doesn't take much. It's just a little, it's thin. If you're not paying attention, you'll actually over apply it or apply it in the wrong spot. I've never used this product before. We purchased it from Amazon and now we're trying to test it out to see if it's worth doing. We'll see how this goes. I'm interested in it. Just making sure I get it everywhere. All right, so we've got it brushed on now. Now we're gonna squeegee it to make sure that we got it exactly what we needed it to do. Any excess comes off. So right. obviously you can put it on a lot thinner than what I did because apparently I have a lot that I have to squeegee off. And the gel comes with the squeegee, right? Yes. So it's convenient. If I can get most of it to stay on a stencil, we'll be good because then we'll just peel the stencil right off. This stuff says that it's non-toxic, but I wear gloves anyways. You know, as, I, as we've said in other videos, I tend to be a uh, stickler when it comes to keeping my hands clean. It's one of those areas where safety is always a concern. Now we need something to dig all these little spots out with. That's going to be Missy that does it. This will obviously go easier if we were using a uh, Mylar stencil or a uh, silk screen stencil because then you can just brush it in there. Use a different paint brush instead of the acid brush. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but all the gel's on there. I guess you can kind of see it. So now we're going to heat gun this bad boy. High heat. It's most definitely smoking up. So there we go, guys. Wood burning gel. If I'd have did a better job of brushing it on there, we wouldn't have had this mess right here at the bottom. See that? That's my fault. It's a little build up there. And then a couple of areas like that right there. So it worked pretty good. 
it's a little different than I expected and I should have done a better job of stenciling it. But now we know it works. And so, all right guys, I'm pretty pleased with the results. I'm happy with the product. It works as advertised. There's a couple things I could have done differently. I could have made sure that I wasn't too sloppy with my brush and I could have done a better job of squeegeeing the excess off like it says in the instructions. Uh, if you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel where we do more videos like this stuff right here. And uh, visit us at Facebook and check us out at RustyRelics.com. I appreciate y'all watching, sticking around with us. Y'all have a great day.